right now it's just at this point in time it's very difficult to grieve I just can't so it's just difficult to write uh, obituaries I mean one alone but then you have to write for all three it's like oh my goodness March 16th was my sister called. She says, Gina just passed away. The following Wednesday, I found my mom in the upstairs closet. She was conscious, but she just was so, so much pain she could not get up. She passed away the following Friday. My other sister, she was running a 101 degree temperature. So she checked herself in at Swedish Cherry Hill. The last text was that they're gonna intubate her. And that was the last time I ever talked to her again. The lockdown was so, so strict in regards to uh, Regina. Our only service was to watch the hearse drive by into the cemetery driveway. The only thing I was able to uh, get uh, from the funeral director was a picture of the coffin and the flowers they placed on top of the sod. The second service, my mom and my sister Willa. They allowed us about 15 minutes to the cemetery to view the coffin, and that was immediate family only. I hear in the news that people think that this coronavirus is, is nothing or it's not real. Mm -hmm. They want to go back to work, and we need to hold back and wait. We lost my two sisters and my mom. There's nothing I can do. I can't you know, dwell on this right now. Just too much pain. Just too much pain.